welcome replay viewers. Welcome live viewers. Welcome to the broadcast. Hi. Hi, B Beauty. Hi, C. Kara. Hi, Kara. Welcome. Welcome. Please share this out and invite. Invite. This is a monument to Frederick Douglass. You're doing him too? Okay. Well, hey, we can't have too much Frederick Douglass, can we? <laughs> yes. How are you doing, Brandy? <laughs> so please share, please share, invite followers. Yeah, I agree, I agree. I mean, Frederick Douglass, you're doing great. Awesome. Hi, Kara. Where are you joining from in the world? Hi, Tanushka. Thanks for sharing, Brandy. Hi, Miss Ohio. Fantastic pleasure to meet you. I am Janice. Hi, Tanush. Tanushka, where are you joining from? Finland. Oh my goodness. Well, welcome. Welcome. That is so awesome. I'm going to turn this around. Hi, I'm Janice Temple, and I'm the founder of World Black History on Periscope. And we are celebrating Black History Month. So thanks for inviting your followers. Please do share this. Turn this back around. And so this is a monument to Frederick Douglass. We are in Lynn, Massachusetts. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for inviting. And we are in Lynn, Massachusetts. He lived here in Lynn from 1841 to 1845, and he actually wrote his autobiography, the first one, here in Lynn, Massachusetts. So the narrative of the life of Frederick Douglass. Hi, Phoenix Queen. Welcome, welcome. Please tell us where you're joining from. And so this is a quote for, from Frederick Douglass. Um, for my part, I should prefer death to hopeless bondage. So Frederick Douglass was born in the month of February in 1818. He doesn't know the exact date. He, I think he just chose the month of February. So yes, yes. And we celebrate Black History Month in February because of Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln. Yes, isn't that awesome? And so now, he died February 20th, 1895. Yes, that's correct. And so now I wanna take you over to his band shell. So Frederick Douglass spoke at this band shell. He made speeches here in Lynn, Massachusetts at this very band shell. And it's named after him. It's a little muddy. I might have to go around another way. It's called Frederick Douglass Band Shell. And it was dedicated September 10th. I think it says 1995. I have to get closer to see the date up there. But this is the bandstand that he spoke at. So he made several speeches here in Massachusetts. Um, so black history absolutely absolutely and so i mean it's, it's when i moved here i didn't realize hi um carrie i didn't realize how much frederick douglas uh how much time he had spent here in massachusetts in the boston area but he was an abolitionist and uh so he made many speeches here at this bandstand in the 1800s and it is uh, still standing. So this is where he spoke. You guys let me know how I'm doing on time because I really can't uh, see what time it is right now. So this is Lynn Commons. Hi there, how are you doing Carrie? Thanks for sharing and inviting your followers. is going to go speak. And uh, so Frederick Douglass, one of his speeches that I um, purchased, hi, welcome, 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 
Robert Tomas. So tell us where you're joining from. Five minutes, six minutes, awesome. So tell us where you're joining from. And I'll turn this around. Great, good to see you, good to see you. Oh, I appreciate it, Carrie, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So I am in Lynn, Massachusetts, which is outside of Boston. And um, it's a small community, but it's known as Abolitionist Lynn. It's where the Quakers settled. And so Lynn is a community, I think it dates back like to 1630 is when it was founded. So there's a lot of um, history here about the Quakers and a lot of underground railroad stops are in this area as well. So um, it was a hotbed for abolitionists. And Frederick Douglass lived here for four years and he wrote his autobiography while living here in Lynn, Massachusetts. One of his speeches, you lived in Bedford for a few years? Oh my goodness, that is awesome, Lynn. Yes, I have to get to Bedford. Um, I know that there's a lot of history there. He lived there as well. And there's a house um, that they're gonna open up to the public, I think, in like April or May that he stayed at in New Bedford as well. But he was a whaler in New Bedford. And he started the first colored union for whalers in New Bedford. So, um, Frederick Douglass, I mean, he was definitely um, before his time, so. <laughs> Carrie says, hey, Glenn. So, Glenn, we'll have to have you um, come join us on a scope or something. So, this is the Frederick Douglass. New Bedford is south of Bedford. Oh, okay. Hey, everyone. Fun shine says. <laughs> Thanks, Glenn. Okay. And um, so, Frederick Douglass uh, wrote the speech called, What is the Fourth of July to the Slave? And I never understood where that saying came from. You know, like people say that the Fourth of July doesn't mean anything to us. Well, he actually did a speech about it. And that's where the original thought comes from is from the speech that Frederick Douglass, um, no, what, why are you saying that, Brandy? So go ahead, we have Juneteenth. Good to see you, bro. Okay, so tell me more, Brandy, why are you saying that the thought doesn't come from his speech? Tell me more, tell me more, why, why do you say that? July 4th wasn't for us. Oh, Juneteenth is for us. Oh, I understand what you're saying, but like when Glenn <laughs> says thanks for the invite. Oh, we are agreeing with me. Oh, laughing out loud, right. No sound. You have to go out and come back in. Yes, sunshine. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying no. I didn't understand. Okay. That clarifies it. Well, I'm going to share his speech one day. I have it at home. I purchased it from the African American Museum of Boston. They have uh, some of his speeches. But you can also go online to Google Play and his speeches are listed there as well. Um, so you can, I think the Schomburg Institute made them available. Okay, so Brandy, you're next. You can set up emojis. Everybody follow Brandy. She's up next. And I guess it's a good thing we're, we're both <laughs> talking about the great in band. Someone called Time Out Without Telling Me. Time Out. Um, ask Marilyn is after you. And then after Marilyn is Carrie. So I don't know if she is on here or not. If not, we'll have to have Carrie move up. He was a true maverick, absolutely fun shot. He was a true maverick. Yes, yes. And I'm gonna take you guys back on over to the memorial that they have for him. And then there's a house here called High Rock. He lived uh, with a Quaker family. 
at High Rock as well. Stone Cottage at High Rock. He, he when he was here, he stayed with. You can do 15 minutes. Okay, that sounds good. But we'll have to see where Marilyn is. I'll have to try and see if I can locate her. So I'm gonna go back over here. Is my helmet on too tight? Can't hear Jack. Go out and come back. <laughs> you, it's, I don't know. I don't know if your helmet. Okay, Brandy, go live. And I'm gonna, um, Carrie, can you tell me when she goes live? Somebody said, yep, your helmet is on too tight. <laughs> too funny. All right, so this is uh, the monument to Frederick Douglass in Lynn, Massachusetts. And the quotation on here is, for my part, I should prefer death to hopeless bondage. He lived here in Lynn, Massachusetts from 1841 to 1845. And he wrote his autobiography, The Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass, while he lived here in Lynn, Massachusetts. And so, can somebody tell me if Brandy is live at Be Beautiful? She is up next. Somebody go out and come back in. Is Carrie still on here? Yeah. Oh, Be Beauty, you're still here. Okay, well, she's still on. Okay, well, go live. Go live, Brandy. Go live. Uh, is she on? Hi, Kwasi Watson. I'm just finishing up. Hi, Funshine. Can somebody tell me if Brandy is live? Hi, how are you doing? It's a pleasure to meet you. So I'm going to assume she's live. I'm going to end the scope and we're going to go look for brand Carrie. Oh, you, I would not be, I don't follow her. Carrie, do you know if Brandy is live? Thanks for the hearts guys. Oh, you don't see her at B beauty. Hmm. Oh, she just went live. Thank you so much, Carrie. I will see you guys. Everybody, let's um, follow Brandy at Be Beauty. And uh, I will send out the invite. And as well as.